Uh, what is up, RB fam? Back again uh, today. Gonna be doing a little bit of vlog here. Uh, finally, gonna talk to you guys about my uh, five-inch quad. I know you guys have been seeing it on the channel and probably wondering about this bad boy here. Um, all right, first of all, I gotta get into this. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, of course. I'm gonna fly. Um, it's a ready-to-fly quad. Now, don't don't uh, assume that I don't know how to build this and that I don't know the parts on it. Right away, uh, if you do recognize this quad and know what it is, uh, props to you, because I'm sure not a lot of people have a ready-to-fly quad. This is where I wanted to start. I looked up the features. Uh, it's actually the Wakara Furious 215. As you can see, it's heavily modified. Uh, I mean, not not too heavy, but I, d I did do a lot of stuff to it that I've lightened the heck out of this thing. I've taken off all kinds of stuff. I'm not going to get too, too into it right now. Uh, I, I do want to just enjoy the day and fly. I don't want to do too much editing or anything like that. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I have the yellow props. I'm just going to tell you about the quick mods. I zip-tied uh, this mount to it. It doesn't come with this mount. This is from Quad Pros. I got this on eBay. Sweet, sweet mount. I got the session. This does uh, not really carry the session. It says it can, but uh, I'll show you guys the stuff uh, another time, like the uh, stock mount and stuff like that. Um, it comes with red props. Pretty similar. Uh, I, I didn't want to do anything too crazy. I just kind of like the color scheme. So I kind of got the same looking props. Uh, I like these a little better. Um, can't really tell much difference. The biggest difference is all the weight I took off this. It had like a junky like LED kit for like beginners so you could orient it. Like all that dumb stuff. Uh, the ESCs, they are only 20 amp. I don't know if I'll be able to upgrade those. I have an F3 processor in this, so it's not really bad. Uh, it's a little outdated. Um, I'm not running on like PPM protocol or PWM or anything like that, so it is. it does act pretty good. It the ready to fly is why why I call it ready to fly. Sorry, is because uh, it comes with a Devo transmitter, a Devention Devo Seven. This actually isn't bad. Uh, it's actually I'd rate this right up there, pretty close. Not quite as good a quality as this as my Spectrum radio, um, but it's it's very close. I I can't really tell the difference honestly when I'm in the air flying it uh, because I haven't really flown a five inch quad on my DX6i, so I I've only flown uh, tiny whoops on that but uh yeah so i i got these zip ties uh i went through everything tightened the hardware that was already tight i pretty much broke this thing down completely and uh i really like what it is you can get replacement parts for this for everything i'm gonna get a new antenna soon uh it's probably the only thing I have to say about it. I, I don't know if uh, this camera is the best. It looks to be the GoPro thing, but maybe a cheap knockoff of the GoPro lens for my video transmitter. I like that it says on the sides the degrees. I have mine set roughly at 30 degrees, so then I went ahead and got a 30 degree mount. I run 30 degrees on... A lot of my little, like my Tiny Whoop Racer, that has a 30 degree mount. Uh, so I really like it to be fast and nimble with the 30 degrees. That's what I run on my DRL simulator. And just when I fly any 5 inch quad, I would run 30 degrees. It's just my personal preference to what I like. Um, real quick, uh, I did get this quad also. I know you guys have seen this one. I'll talk really, really quick about that. That's just uh, a little micro. Everyone has a micro. Uh, I really like that. I can use this Devo 7 with that because that was ready to fly. I don't really have the time to do all these builds. I am planning on doing one 5 inch build. I'm thinking about the Leviathan or the Alien. So this is going to be my backup quad eventually and I, I really like it. I can get all these parts. I'm thinking about upgrading the ESCs and motors if I can. I'm going to look more into it. Uh, these are like 2205, 2204, something like that. Uh, brushless motor. Motors. They're pretty good. Uh, it has decent punch, especially with all the lightning. At, fir at first, before I lightened anything up, uh, this thing was so heavy and slow. I'm um, running, uh, I don't have the lipos out right now, but I'm running four cell packs with the uh, XT60. And uh, I really like this thing. It's really not bad. Um, it still feels, in my opinion, like a little bit heavy. Like when I look at the Leviathan online, I haven't really weighed this. I don't know why. I probably should weigh this. 
But uh, when I look at like the Leviathan, that thing just looks so lightweight, and you can upgrade the motors and get what, build it however you want. And the Alien as well. There, I, I got this because it's like it looks like a wannabe looking Alien, I guess. The frame. Um, but it's a nice drone overall. The connections, they soldered them really, really well uh, from the factory. I'll show you right here. This is the drone, the box. This is the micro. Uh, here's a few of the key features really, really quick. I don't know if you guys can even read that. Sorry, it's so dark in here. Might be able to read the white. But, uh, yeah, just uh, going around the room here looking at it. But, yeah, that's all i got to really say about it. It's the Wakara Furious 215. Uh, I got the Ready to Fly. You can get this also, of course, as, like, a uh, almost Ready to Fly or whatever you want to call it. But I just did it this way because it was easier just getting into the hobby. And I didn't know, really know if I wanted to build a quad yet. I do know now that I am going to build a quad, of course. I've built a bunch of micros. I really like the... Uh, I mean, the whoop styles, I, I really like those, as you guys know. But today's vlog, I'm not going to be doing any of the, uh, any whooping, because that's the other thing I wanted to get into real quick. The weather here, uh, I'm in New England, it's really still winter, as you can see in the title, uh, it just snowed again last night. It, all the snow was almost gone on the ground as of yesterday in like 45 degrees in heaven, and now it's just snowed again outside, and it's just like three feet of snow on the ground so i am I, I we do travel in this we're not scared we travel in this so i am gonna travel i got my backpack all packed up ready to go uh, but the thing is my wife got a new lens for her camera she wants to try it out so i can't really take out any whoops today because the wind is like 15 miles an hour and i'm just not going to take any whoops that whoops out or whatever so uh i'm just going to fly this thing i got a couple packs charged up ready to go four cell packs and uh yeah so hope you guys enjoy the flight i will have more review, uh, official review on this quad eventually on my channel and also on my uh, Wakara Rodeo 110, my micro. So make sure you like, share, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy the flight. Uh, as always, see you guys next time. Peace.
Alright guys, that's going to conclude today's episode. As you can see, I have my uh, first little crash here. Pretty stoked actually. You would think I wouldn't be uh, this excited, but honestly it was the funnest day because I actually crashed. This thing was full of snow as you guys could see from the photos my wife took on her smartphone. Uh, just going to let it thaw out on this heater I guess for a couple days is the best thing I know to do. So uh, yeah, so thanks for watching you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed that little flight and that footage. Um, thanks for coming along for the trip today. Stay tuned as always. More stuff coming. Like, share, subscribe. Like I said, see you guys next time. Peace.